Welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. I want to talk to you about something that became really apparent to me in the most recent D expedition to the Congo, uh, TN8K. I made 20 meter contact with the D expedition, and man, was there just a ton of people that were trying to call them on the wrong frequency. And it became apparent to me that maybe a lot of newer operators don't have experience or don't know what working split is. So before we jump into the details, what is split? It's actually very simple. It simply means that you're going to be transmitting on one frequency and listening on another. Uh, same thing with the DX station. They're going to be transmitting on one and listening on another. But that also begs the question, how do you know if they're working split? Well, the first thing you can do if you catch a DX station or a de-expedition, don't just start throwing your call in right away. Take a moment and listen. Listen to see if they're telling you they're working split. Uh, give it a good few minutes, three minutes, five minutes. A lot of DX stations will say, you know, a QRZ up five or a QRZ up five to ten. That's your cue that you're working split and you don't want to transmit on where you're hearing them. So here's another way that can also help accomplish this. And it's it's going to make your life a little bit easier. You could also go to your favorite DX cluster. I like DXHeat.com. And when you go in the cluster and look, you may end up finding a DX call sign. Let's use ON7HLU as an example. They may be on 7152, but the spotter may put a comment in there and say they're up 5 or they're up 5 to 10. So the cluster is another great tool to use uh, to see if they're working split. But this is where the real fun hits. So let's just use 14250 as an example. The station's on there. Let's say it's TN8K, just like it was when I broke that pile up for the, the expedition. They're calling on 14250. You can hear them on 14250. At the end of their call, they say, we're up five. Okay, I know I have to transmit now on 14255 because they're up five. But I want to really break that pile up. I'm not going to transmit where everybody else is going to transmit because I'm just going to be intermixed in the pile up. I might transmit 256 or 256.5. Just that slight adjustment to being a little off frequency might be just enough to catch that DX operator's attention and get them to quickly tune to my signal and I will win the pile up versus everybody else. That's the fun and the strategy of working uh, in a split situation on a, a big DX pileup. So give that a shot next time. Now, hopefully your radio will allow you to work split really easily. You don't have to have this, but boy, it sure makes your life a whole lot easier. Uh, the ICOM 7300 makes this really, really easy. Let me show you just how easy it is on the 7300. Let's carry this 14250 example all the way through this video. So let's say you're hearing a DX station on 14250 who's working split up five. How do you accommodate your radio for the 7300 to operate that? Well, we're going to go ahead and click on split. And now you're going to notice an additional frequency has popped up with another VFO. That's VFO B. But wait a minute. I don't want 14276. How do I adjust that? I'm going to click on AB, go over to VFOB. Now I can adjust the transmit frequency down to 255 because remember, he's on 250 and saying he's up five. I go back to VFOA to listen, and then when I'm ready to bust that pile up, I key my radio and it will key up for me on 255, up five. Now, wait a minute. What if I want to adjust it again? Again, AB, let me go up and try that 256, slightly off frequency trick. And back to A when you're ready to listen. And then again, it'll adjust and transmit on 14256 now. So that is how you set your 7300 for this. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you again next time.